Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're bringing back old school YouTube because my little heart misses watching people use their makeup. So we're gonna do a get ready with me today. Now I realize that I am in the minority today and that honestly these are some of my lowest um, performing content but I don't care because I miss it. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna be using mostly Project Pan items, so I may not talk too much about them because we're just here to chat. Um, now, I am gonna be using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. I don't remember loving this, but I do remember that I feel like a little bit tends to go a really long way, so we're just gonna start out with a smidge, like this much, and build it up from there if necessary. Um, I recently pulled this in to my deck of panning project pan, which <laughs> that was something. And I only did that yesterday. So while I'm filming this, it hasn't gone up yet, but when you see this, it will have. I remember that I bought this right when it released because I wanted to do a review on it. And that's when like everything started hitting the fan with the sale of our old house and just everything went crazy. So I never ended up doing it, but I remember I had thoughts. Oh, also, yeah, disregard this errant kind of sunlight stream. I cannot escape it. I've moved to the very edge of my desk and it's just following me around because I have no control over the placement of the sun. <laughs> So I have a bit of a day in front of me. We are doing we are doing a parent teacher conference with my son. So he and I are just going to make a day of it. We are going to go to that obviously, but then we're going to go and we're going to get some lunch and we're going to do some grocery shopping, probably get some ice cream because he really loves TCBY. Um, he calls it the ice cream topping store because he gets to pick out his own toppings and his favorite thing to put on his frozen yogurt are bobas. He's obsessed with bobas and it's just the cutest thing. So we'll probably do that and just have a really fun day, which I'm really looking forward to. He and I don't get to do that as much anymore. I mean, even if COVID had not happened and you know, the whole world went on to lockdown, with the birth of his sisters, it's just made it a little bit more challenging to kind of get away and have more of that one-on-one -on -one time. I try to do it with him as often as I can. It just doesn't happen as often as I would like, I think is what it comes down to. Okay, so far, I feel like it's sitting okay. I think I got everything, but... All right, we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. Like I said, I only used a tiny, tiny bit because a little goes a long way. It's kind of like the um, It Cosmetic CC Cream in that way where like the smallest little bit just goes for days and days and days. So I don't know. I don't remember like straight up hating it or anything, but I remember it not being my favorite, but I just don't really remember why because it's been Gosh, close to a year ago now at this point. So what are we watching on TV? My husband and I have just started watching The Last of Us on HBO Max and I'm obsessed. So a little bit of the backstory there. When my husband and I first started dating, um, we actually played that video game together. Now by we, I mean he and I watched because I am not coordinated enough to get into video games. I just have no patience for trying to learn all of the different like finger combinations on those controllers because it's just too complex and my brain doesn't like that. So I love watching though. And so we will find, or before our kids were born, we would find video games to kind of play together in that way. And it was nice because I would kind of hang out on the couch and work on whatever it is that I was working on, or I would honestly play The Sims because that's a video game that I've been playing for two decades now. Um, but you know, it was just a nice way to spend some time together and we both really, really loved it so much. 
smarter Ashley would have had all of her brushes right in front of her. Um, but yeah, so we actually played that game together when we first started dating. I mean, this has been quite a long time ago. We were still living in his apartment, this little teeny tiny one room, tiny, tiny apartment that we were constantly on top of each other in. But you know, when you first start dating, you want to be on top of each other all the time. So it was fine. And it was just really good memories for me. So when I saw that they were making a TV show for it and it was being done by HBO, I was like, okay, this, this I could get behind. So we've been, we're only two episodes in so far. We were going to watch one more last night, but, um, didn't end up happening, but so far really really been liking it and here's where i'm going to kind of geek out on you guys because i have a background in theater i grew up doing a ton of theater and i am that person that when i rent a dvd or back when you know renting dvds was a thing um i would always watch like the extras like all the behind the scenes stuff because i just find it so incredibly fascinating so one of the things that I have just been absolutely captivated with in this show is the set designer. Holy smokes, that set does it. The sets are amazing. They are so good. Like the story and the acting and all of that, of course. But the sets, I am just so literally captivated by them. I need a blush brush, hold on. All right, um, there's one scene from the, I think it's from the second episode. They're kind of running together now um, where they're in an abandoned hotel. For those of you that maybe don't know the premise, um, it's kind of a new take on kind of a post-apocalyptic zombie type of thing. There is a fungus, a, this fungus exists in real life in like, the real form, it's a fungus that will take over like ants, for example, and it's gnarly. Like I had seen this before on like um, planet earth type of shows and stuff like that. It's a gnarly thing. And um, they, whoever wrote the video game Last of Us, um, mutated it into something that takes over the human population. Um, and it's, you know, that whole kind of genre. Really, really, really good. And I recommend it. Let me do my brows real quick and I'll come back and we'll do the eyes. All right, thank you for your patience. Brows are done. I knew nobody would want to watch that. So we were talking about The Last of Us and my nerding out over the set designs. They are so, so good. Like for instance, there is a scene where they're in this abandoned hotel and the contrast in it, cause everything is like crumbled and broken down cause it's 20 years after the initial outbreak. And so nature has kind of reclaimed a lot of the world and stuff like that, which in and of itself is not an original sort of landscape theme, but the way that they do it is just beautiful. Like oftentimes when we see nature taking back over and crumbled, desolate cityscapes, they're oftentimes very depressing and, you know, just like trashed. In this case, there's this element of like surreal beauty to it. And the scene with the hotel, they come out onto this like balcony sort of area and the way that they that the set designer used color it has these incredibly vibrant pops of like neon green it's just so effective like it is just such an interesting shot and I find myself because I, I know well I mostly know the storyline again we played this gosh seven eight nine years ago it's been a long time um so i don't remember in like full detail but you know i remember the the gist of things um 
so I also find myself having so much anxiety while I'm watching this because you know, even if you don't like know what's happening like you still know what's gonna be happening um, in this kind of genre and I have just so much anxiety while <laughs> watching this show because um, I don't I don't I don't like scary things I don't like being scared like it's not a horror thing or anything but you know there are things that go jumpy as with many kind of zombie-ish uh, shows and so like I know that these kinds of things are going to be coming I don't know I've also come to realize that I am not suited to survive an event like this <laughs> I am just not like I am 0% badass I am 100% coward <laughs> I just I don't think that I would last very long at all like they're walking into these incredibly tense situations and I'm like uh, -uh I would be just sitting in a corner eating my own hair I don't know it would not be I would not last long. I would just not last long. <laughs> but it is a very good show so far. We've really been enjoying it. Hopefully we'll be able to watch um, another episode tonight. I don't know how many episodes are in this season. I try to avoid looking at that because I don't want my brain to kind of anticipate things. I want to just be able to enjoy the moment. So I don't know how many episodes are in this season. And I'm curious to see where they take the story because I know that there's a Last of Us 2 video game, but we have not played it. Um, as I said, once you have kids, your time is no longer your own. Um, so we just don't have a lot of time for hobbies these days. And you know, when we do, it's only like an hour or so and my husband he's like it's just it's hard to get into a video game knowing that I've only got like an hour to play or 45 minutes to play because it's not like we're going to be playing these games with the kids around that's inappropriate in my opinion um well in his opinion too but um so it's just difficult to get time to play things so I don't know where the second uh, video game goes as far as storyline. I think my husband knows a few things. I think he said that he saw some spoilers for the game. Um, and so it helped him decide between that game and another game that he wanted to buy at the same time. But I don't know anything. So I'm really curious to see where the series goes and kind of what storylines they have and how far into the story this season is going to go. I have truly no idea um, how they're doing it, but it's very, very well done. Now, we were huge Game of Thrones fans, um, and so seeing the type of production budget that HBO has put into this, we have really high hopes. Now, I say we were really big Game of Thrones fans because feel free to fight me, that last season was garbage. 100% garbage. That was just so freaking lazy. And you could tell that the writers were just ready to be done with it. And that's just annoying. But we're really, really hopeful that this is going to be really good and that it's going to be done right throughout the entirety of the project um, because there's just so much good potential in this storyline so far. Now the other game that I'm pretty sure I read is also getting a TV show that we are very much looking forward to. I have no idea like when or anything like that. And I think this is the game that he purchased instead of The Last of Us 2, but um, Horizon Zero Dawn. That was definitely a really fun game and had a really good story to it. And I'm excited for that. That also is going to have some Game of Thrones alum, I believe. I think that the main character, Aloy, is going to be played by the woman who played Egret um, in the Game of Thrones. She was the wildling that Jon Snow had fond feelings for and actually married in real life. 
Uh, so we're very much hoping that that is something that's going to continue to be greenlit and done really well because that's got a good storyline. That's got a good storyline. So, um, yeah, showing off a little bit of the nerdiness that I have and I have no apologies for. But I would love to know, have you guys been watching any of these shows and what kind of shows are you guys into? I feel like I'm very much behind our to watch list is super outdated in fact we just finished watching only murders in the building that was so fun that was so fun i would definitely recommend that show for sure um we didn't really know anything about it going into it it was just on kind of like the hulu home screen and i remember just seeing good buzz about it but I didn't really know anything else about it and it turned out to be like the perfect show for us in the sense that it had a really great tone to it the episodes were only half an hour each which for us is really really helpful because our nights can be uh, a little bit unpredictable in that it takes forever for us to get our kids to bed and literally like half the time I will fall asleep in that process and uh, it kind of kills our night. So having a half hour show for us was super helpful. And it was just, it was a lot of fun. It was well written, well acted. And it was, it was fun. That is one that I would also very much recommend. Although, like I said, we are super behind on things. So probably you guys have already seen it. But if you haven't and you're looking for a fun show, that is a good one. They're basically kind of doing a podcast uh, while experiencing the podcast. It's fun. Um, if you are a fan of Bailey Sarian, which if you are a true crime person, you should be. Um, but definitely it's in that same sort of tone and vein. And it's a good time. It's a good time. Also a good time is this eye look. This turned out really, really nicely. I'm fond of it. Um, I will have, of course, everything listed down below that I'm using, but just to let you know, the palette that I'm using is from Unearthly Cosmetics. It's the Surrender palette that I just recently did an unboxing for, and I'm using some of the, the browns, and I really love how this is coming out for sure. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to apply mascara. I'm not gonna make you sit through that because just like the brows, nobody wants to see my weird contorted face while I'm putting on mascara. And then we'll come back and we'll do some lipstick. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is lips and I think I'm gonna go with one of my Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Inks. I'm obsessed with these. I have like five different shades. I think I wanna go with the shade Peppy. So there is a trick to these. I'm not gonna lie, when I first tried these, I was not a fan because I was using them wrong. So you gotta shake them up. I was shaking up just a few minutes ago too. You wanna shake them for a good 15, 20 seconds. Like the longer the better because there are two separate formulas in here. There is the glossy part and then the lip like stick part. So you want them to be well mixed. And then you want to just apply a thin single layer to the top lip and the bottom lip. Let it dry completely and before you touch your lips together. Like, um, now that I use them properly, they are very much one of my very favorites at all. All right, we're gonna let it dry for a good minute. All right, so it's been about a minute or so, and I'm pretty sure it's set. Perfect, absolutely perfect. It's not sticky, it feels very comfortable on my lips, it's transfer proof at this point, and it is just, Fantastic. I have to literally hold myself back and not purchase more because five even is too many <laughs> because I never finish liquid lipsticks, but it is just such a stunning formula. And if you've had trouble with it in the past and you already own it, try these tips because I think it'll change your mind completely. 
So here we have the finished look and if you have been with me for the entirety of this video, thank you so, so much. Your support means honestly everything to me. Make sure to say hi in the comments below and if you have not already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.